In this video, I'll be showing you a simple workflow for how to create a stylized shopping cart model. I will be using the standard modeling techniques as well as using opacity maps to create some of the details. The first thing I did was create the main body of the shopping cart. I typically prefer to start with the largest part of a model as that can be used to create a better feel for the proportions and size of the other pieces as well. In this case, I decided to use curves to create the frames that hold the main body of the shopping cart. This section could also be manually modeled, but in this case I felt it would be easier to use curves. Once I had all the curves ready, I used the Sweet Mesh tool which was introduced in Maya 2022. I used this tool to give thickness to the curves and get useful geometry out of the curves. I used the Sweep Mesh tool for each curve separately since I wanted the frames to have different levels of thickness. After that, I created the wheel using a cylinder. I also used the cube which I beveled and this became the section that connects the wheel to the frame. One thing I also did was remove some unnecessary edges from the frame. I created another cube and placed it at the top. This will be the basket section of the shopping cart. Finally, I also added a plane at the bottom, which will use an opacity map for details. I also decided to add another thick section of frame on top of the main shopping cart body. This time, I simply duplicated the mesh and used an extrusion and bevel to get the shape. Once the model was done, it was time to do UVs. In this case, because most of the shapes are very geometric, I mostly applied a planar map and some UV cuts as well and used the Unfold tool. I tried to keep the UV islands relatively straight and pack them in the UV grid using as much space as possible. Before exporting, I grouped the model and renamed all the pieces with the underscore low at the end of the names. I also used an auto smoothing groups script to automatically set the models of the model. For the high poly, I simply duplicated the original group and renamed the pieces with underscore high. I softened some of the edges and added bevels where appropriate. I exported the low and high poly models as FPX files. In Substance Painter, I baked my maps using the Bake by Mesh name setting. In this case, I also applied the 3DX stylized smart material for the texture. Link to this material is in the video description. The texturing of this model is fairly simple. I duplicated the main color and changed it for different parts of the model. In this case, I also wanted to use transparency, so I enabled the shader which supports opacity here in Substance Painter. I also added a new opacity channel to get it to work correctly. For the frame, I made a new layer with opacity set to zero and added a fill layer to it. I used a pattern to create the frame. I tested with a few different ones until I found one that I thought worked pretty well. Keep in mind you can also manually paint any pattern you want as well as import your own alpha. I proceeded to do this for the main shopping cart body and the basket section, trying out a few different patterns as well as manually painting some sections of it. So this is how I went about creating this simple stylized shopping cart. In this video, the work was done in a simple fashion, but I have no doubt with a little more time you can create a much better looking shopping cart. If you found this video helpful and also if you have other ways in which this could have been made, please leave a comment below. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, please take a look at the channel for more content like this.